My name is Gregory Smith, the author of The Seven Secrets to Living in Harmony, a guide to freeing you to create your life. In many senses, it is the story of my awakening, my awakening to the messages my body was sending me, only I was not listening. And I am sure that is the case with many of you. Yes, I have received many bangs, bumps and pains and discomfort, particularly as I was playing rugby until I was 40. However, there is more to the story than this. These are minor compared to the intense pain of what eventually was diagnosed as a gallbladder stone and bouts of intense, do not do anything, lower back pain. My gallbladder was removed in my mid-twenties shortly after I married Caroline, and it was certainly a shock for her, me pacing up and down in the middle of the night trying to ease the pain, though we are still together. My last bout of intense back pain began about a month before we left England to live in Portugal. It was reflecting on this and linking it to the emotions of the events in my life which prompted me to write The Seven Secrets of Living in Harmony. Each of the seven secrets is linked to one of the prime seven chakras or energy centres in our body. Though, because I was afraid what others might think, there was no mention of a chakra in the book, nor the fact I'm a shaman, even though shamanic practices are mentioned. My premise builds on the awareness everything is energy. When it flows freely, we enjoy a vibrant, healthy life. There is a blockage, pain and discomfort are felt. With the intent of learning how to heal myself, I went looking for evidence as to what creates a blockage. This led me to various topics such as epigenetics and Dr. Bruce Lipton. The full set of sources are listed in the Seven Secrets. I have also summarised my understanding of the science, which led me to conclude it is our beliefs and the conflicts they create which cause the pain and discomfort we receive. These conflicts reside within each of us. Usually, their roots are in something we believe about ourselves, our life and its direction. The beliefs could have been created in early childhood, another life or inherited through our ancestral lineage. Almost always, we are not aware of these unconscious beliefs, though they direct all aspects of our life. Less than 5% of our daily actions, deeds, thoughts and words are from our conscious mind. In The Seven Secrets to Living in Harmony, I have linked certain beliefs to each of the seven primary energy centres or secrets. For example, my lower back pain is one of the symptoms I've identified as secret number one. The lower back is the fulcrum around which all movement takes place. Try reaching out with your hand for something if your back is locked. It will be very difficult. The lower back provides support and foundation, therefore mirroring your life. If there's any sense of a lack of support, whether from your boss, team or family, your back will feel the strain. Your back is all about the support you believe you are receiving or not. Each of the seven secrets will help you understand the cause and effect of what you are experiencing and how you can begin to transform your life. That said, one word of warning. Holding on to a limiting belief about others will block the change you seek to create. In fact, if you believe your situation is completely due to the actions of others, you might want to put aside that impression now or stop watching this video. In addition to case studies and clients, the book contains testimonials. For those of you who wish to learn more and take action by listening to the messages your body is trying to send you, each of the seven secrets has a link to various audios I have made to help you do so. You can download them for free by following the link at the bottom of each of the seven secrets chapters. Prefer to contact me directly, 
and I'll be delighted to support you. Email me via the contact page at www.creatingharmonyinyourlife.com Thank you. The seven secrets to living in harmony for your awareness as to the messages your body is sending you.